With over 70 characters in the game, that gives us over 70 Final Smashes. But which one is the best? I've attempted to rank every Final Smash in the game, and from the Smash Ball technically and not that little meter. My choices are mostly based on practicality and results, and partially style points too. And with that said, let's get her ranked! 76. Jigglypuff's Puff Up Jigglypuff grows really big and launches nearby enemies. The problem is that even on small stages, you can avoid this attack by carefully jumping out of the way. 75. Rosalina's Grand Star A big star shoots stars across the stage. Its only benefit is if you manage to trap your opponents inside the star, otherwise it's completely useless. 74. Peach's Blossom Peach does a dance and everyone falls asleep. You basically have to choose to heal with the drop peaches or get one smash attack in. This one can only be good if it's very situational, like on a scrolling stage or if you're not above ground like I purposefully demonstrated, but otherwise it kinda sucks. 73. Daisy's Blossom It's the exact same thing as peaches, but you get to eat daisies. These two could be interchanged of course. 72. Rob's Guided Robo Beam Rob's final smashes are slowly getting better over time, but this one is still just okay. He shoots quick guided lasers and then shoots a big laser which can be moved up and down. The problem is getting your opponent into the laser because Rob waits like 8 years to actually use it. 71. Dr. Mario's Finale Two big ol' vitamins fly across the screen and attack players that get caught in its wrath. It's okay, but it's easy for your opponent to avoid it if you aren't right next to them. Also, they should have made something unique because... 70. Mario's Finale It's just Dr. Mario's Final Smash, but with seemingly a touch more spread. 69. Wii Fit Trainers Wii Fit A wave of silhouettes of different Wii Fit poses are released with one big one at the end. It's just okay, the problem is that it's kinda weak. 68. Me Sword Fighter's Final Edge it's like Wii Fit Trainers, but slightly better. The shockwaves move a lot faster and are more effective despite the smaller amount of range. Really, the previous four I just talked about could all be rearranged completely based on the scenario. 67. Mr. Game & Watch's Octopus You turn into an octopus and it grabs characters in its way and drags them off the stage. It's better than before, but characters can wiggle out of his grasp. 66. Ryu Shinku Hadouken it's basically a bigger version of a Hadouken that can go through the stage. It's strong, but way too slow and really easy to avoid. 65. Ice Climber's Iceberg A giant iceberg is summoned from the ground. You can move it left and right now, but you also move left and right, so you have to be careful and pay attention or you'll die like I did. 64. Link's Ancient Bow and Arrow Link fires a powerful blue glowing arrow that explodes on contact and launches opponents. However, it doesn't go through multiple characters, kind of like... 63. Dark Pit Staff He shoots a little arrow that can go through multiple foes. It's effective, but a bit on the boring side. 62. Donkey Kong's Jungle Rush Donkey Kong releases a barrage of punches and finishes with an uppercut. It's pretty strong, but the first punch has to connect for it to count. 61. Inkling's Killer Whale you drop a killer whale on the ground or in the air, and it's like a wave beam. But the problem is it takes a while to activate, and it's easy to avoid. Plus, you move Inkling and the beam up and down at the same time, which doesn't help matters at all. 60. Luigi's Poltercus G00 Luigi sucks up nearby fighters as well as items, and then launches them. This may appear to be the same Final Smash from Smash 4, but the vacuum cleaner comes from Luigi's Mansion 3. That's right. If you compare the teaser trailer with the one in this game, they match right up. 59. Pichu's Volt Tackle You turn into an electric ball and zap players around the screen. It actually does more damage than Pikachu's, but you take damage doing this. Which, yeah, Volt Tackle in Pokemon has the same effect, but seriously? 58. Kirby's Ultra Sword Here's one of the super abilities from Kirby Return to Dream Land. The sword slashes up opponents and launches them. What's nice is you can catch opponents pretty easily thanks to it being able to cut through terrain, just like in the original game too. 57. Bayonetta's Infernal Climax You enter Witch Time and have to fill the Climax gauge by attacking opponents, and then Gamora is summoned and attacks. This is the most complicated Final Smash to do, and while it's innovative, it's a little much for one attack. 56. Ganondorf's Ganon, the Demon King it's similar to Beast Ganon, but now he swings his sword forward first before rushing across the screen. The swing also stuns foes, so that, on top of the huge range, makes this one decent. 55. Marth's Critical Hit Marth rushes forward with blazing speed. It's incredibly strong, but not the easiest to land. I love that the little bar for Fire Emblem pops up for this too. 54. Lucina's Critical Hit the exact same thing. Either or could be better or worse, depending on who you prefer playing as. 53. Roy's Critical Hit 
He does this slow fire spin with his sword and slashes forward, again using the little bar from Fire Emblem. 52. Krom's Awakening Aether Krom uses a technique called Soul and follows up with Luna. It's similar to a critical hit attack, but with a bit more punch to it, and it's inspired by Aether's portrayal in Fire Emblem Awakening. 51. Bowser Jr.'s Shadow Mario Paint Shadow Mario paints his way into battle and does stuff, I guess. It's a strong move, but I hate that there's a giant X over all the interesting action. I don't get the point of that. 50. Wario's Wario Man Instead of taking control of Wario Man, now he attacks automatically in a comic book-like fashion and ends it with a powerful fart. It's every man's dream. 49. Ken's Shinryuken It's basically a giant flaming uppercut that does really good damage. The only real downside is that it ends in like a second or two. 48. Little Mac's Giga Mac Rush It's like Donkey Kong's final smash, but he turns into Giga Mac, and his final uppercut is incredibly beefy. 47. Olimar's End of Day He hops into his Hakate ship, and nearby enemies are buried. Then he crash lands and explodes on top of everyone in the way. Seems like a waste of a perfectly good ship, but it does the job. 46. Pikachu's Volt Tackle It's Pichu's final smash, but not quite as powerful. However, he doesn't take damage using it, so I would consider it slightly better for that reason. 45. Ryu Shin Shoryuken Ryu launches an incredibly powerful uppercut with tons of flashy special effects. It's pretty dimidome good. 44. Shulk shouts the chain attack. Shulk teams up with Fiora, and either Dunban or Riki beat the living crap out of his opponent. 43. Duck Hunt NES Zapper Posse Same idea as Shulk's, but the characters come from Duck Hunt, Hogan's Alley, and Wild Gunman. While I personally find this to be cooler, I can see how some would prefer Shulk's final smash over this one. 42. Korin's Torrential Roar You pretty much turn into a dragon and release a giant whirlpool at your opponent. It's one of the most intense transformations and attacks, and it's pretty solid. 41. Diddy Kong's Hyper Rocket Barrel He flies around the screen in every direction, then goes to his closest opponent for a final hit. It's way better than his original Final Smash, and just looks a lot cooler. 40. Fox's Team Star Fox Fox finally busts out the R-Wing for a final smash, and his team flies out into space to shoot down any targeted opponents. Also, Fox has a specific line when Wolf is the target. This is the end for you, Wolf. That's a nice touch, Sakurai. 39. Falco's Team Star Fox It's the same thing, but with a different flight pattern. Falco's quote, time for a little payback, actually comes directly from Star Fox 64. 38. Wolf's Team Star Wolf it's like the other two, but he has special lines when he attacks Fox and Falco. All three of these are pretty neat. Any of them could be swapped with each other. 37. Ness's PK Starstorm Meteors fall from the sky, and you can control them by tilting left or right. Paula and Pooh also make a nice cameo. It's really easy to get hits in with this, but the attacks aren't that powerful. 36. Lucas's PK Starstorm it's the exact same final smash, but he has Kumatora and Boney by his side, and you tilt up and down instead to spread out or close in on the meteors. 35. Zelda's Triforce of Wisdom The opponent is swallowed into a gigantic triangle. The suctions get stronger and stronger and launches the player. 34. Simon's Grand Cross You're summoned into a coffin and then you're... Cross to death? I guess they're like laser crosses? I don't know at this point. 33. Richter's Grand Cross It's the same thing, unless you like brown hair more than blonde. 32. Young Link's Triforce Slash The player gets trapped in the Triforce, and Yink goes buck wild on them. It's still one of the most cinematic Final Smashes to this day, even with it originating from Brawl. 31. Toon Link's Triforce Slash It's the same thing. If you like the cartoony graphics more than that, then that's great, because I do too. 30. Villager's Dream Home if you thought Extreme Makeover Home Edition builds houses fast, Villager traps a person inside, and Tom Nook builds it in 5 seconds, and then it explodes. It's pretty strong and just fun to watch, too. 29. Isabelle's Dream Town Hall It's the same, but you build a town hall. Town halls are bigger than homes, so I guess that's why this one's better. Even though they're scaled the same, just let me have this. 28. Knee Brawler's Omega Blitz You kick your opponent into the sky with a bunch of other punches and stuff. It's okay, but other characters pull this kind of final smash off a lot better. 27. Ike's Great Ether. He throws his sword in the air, screams Great Ether, and slashes down like cutting into your first piece of steak. It just feels right. 26. Cloud's Omni Slash. Pretty much just Ike's final smash, but I like Cloud's hair more. 25. Robin's Pair Up. Similar to Ike's final smash, but Krom comes in to help slash your opponent up. Which is kind of weird because he's a playable character now, but hey. All of Robin's tomes and Levin Sword will be recovered if the attack connects. 24. Greninja's Ninja Attack You throw someone in the air, but instead of a sword, your body is the weapon, and it looks pretty dang. 
23, Meta Knight's Darkness Illusion. Characters are thrown into the air and slashed up, and at the end there's a cool little close-up showing how zuck they are. Idiots. 22. Me Gunner's Full Blast. Your Me shoots generic lasers, but they're surprisingly stronger than I expected. Plus, the blast range is a nice meaty size. 21. Snake's Covering Fire. He aims a reticle at his opponents and shoots five missiles. What's nice is they'll fire even if you can't lock on. It's a nice devastating final smash. 20. Zero Suit Samus's Zero Laser. She hops on her gunship, aims a cursor at her opponents, and fires one long laser blast. The end matters the most because that's the really powerful blast, and it's a pretty satisfying and solid attack. 19. Ken Shippu Jinraya Kyaku. I've probably said that wrong, but basically Ken does a series of the flashiest spin kicks I've ever seen in my life. It's not only great, but Ken tends to push the players closer to the edge, making it easier to KO with. 18. Incineroar's Max Militia's Moonsault. The opponent is charged at, hit multiple times, then launched into the air and back down with a headbutt followed with a giant explosion. I have no idea what just happened, but it was great. 17. King DDD's DD Rush. You somehow end up in a cage match, and the opponent is thrown into a barbed wall, several missiles hit them, and then DDD runs up and smashes his enemy with a hammer. It is brutal and beautiful at the same time. 16. Ridley's Plasma Scream. Your opponents are chucked onto Samus's gunship and plasma beam to death. God damn, Ridley. Even for you, that's a little excessive. 15. Yoshi Stampede. A Yoshi army stampedes through a canyon and stomps on whoever's in the way. This final smash references the original melee intro as it's basically a recreation of that scene. It's such a creative and strong attack. 14. King K. Rules Blastomatic. K. Rule sits on his throne in Crocodile Isle and fires a giant laser right through Donkey Kong Island. It makes absolutely no sense, but I love cinematic final smashes that go to this extent. 13. Sheik's Sheikah Dance. He, or she, slices forward with a dagger and the Sheikah symbol flashes on screen. It's much more visually interesting than the previous final smashes, and it's pretty easy to capture someone too while also being powerful. 12. Captain Falcon's Blue Falcon Animation. The handsome fella calls up his Blue Falcon, throws his opponents on an F-Zero track, and straight up plows through them. The captain does not play around. 11. Mewtwo's Psy Strike. He transforms into Mega Mewtwo Y, throws up some psychic ball, and zaps players all at the same time. It's a crazy light show and very powerful too. 10. Mega Man's Mega Legends. Mega Man shoots a black hole and a swarm of Mega Mans appear, including X, Volna, .exe, Star Force, Proto Man, and Base, and they all shoot one giant laser at the same time. Hot mama, this one's epic. 9. Palutena's Black Hole Laser. Everyone once again gets dragged into a black hole, and then an enormous laser comes out of nowhere and blasts everyone to kingdom come. It's one of the strongest and most effective lasers in the game. 8. Pac-Man Super Pac-Man. The pack transforms to his classic form and zooms around the screen eating people. Hitting players is a breeze, and the extra detail in seeing your opponent's eyes after they've been eaten is really charming. 7. Sonic Super Sonic. He transforms into the legend himself. He zooms across the sides of the screen, and you can actually control his vertical movement, making it really easy to hit players. 6. Lucario's Aura Storm. He flies into the air and releases Aura Storm down into the ground. It can be adjusted left and right too. It's one of the most satisfying attacks, and it packs a good punch. 5. Pokemon Trainer's Triple Finish. All three Pokemon team up together to release a blast of death. It's incredibly powerful and even drags people in because of how wide it is. 4. Samus's Zero Laser. Samus fires a mega giant laser, which pulls in nearby fighters too. You can also change the angle by tilting up or down. 3. Dark Samus's Phase On Laser. The same thing, but I like edgy. 2. Bowser's Giga Bowser Punch. Instead of playing as Giga Bowser, now he hops into the background and you get one massive punch. If the opponent's damage is high, it's really easy to get a KO with this. It's hard not to miss this attack. And number one, Pit's Lightning Chariot. It's basically the Dragoon, but from behind and not in the front. And it's pretty darn spiffy if I do say so myself. So yeah, I did not think Pit would end up taking first place, but like I said before, I based this list off how easy it was to do damage and get kills, and I found that Pit tended to do the best job with that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and thanks a bunch for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.